Hello my friends, in this lesson we will learn how to show in a pivot table the missing products, the products that do not have sales. This can be applied also to stores that do not have sales. Because when you make a pivot table or a matrix in Power BI, there are shown only the products or the stores that have sales. But what if you want to show the missing products on the or the missing uh, stores, the stores that do not have sales? So we will use a measure in Power BI with DAX that is like this missing product we will use an iterator SUMX over the products table okay we want to have the distinct products in this instance the products key we call it with values and then we put a condition if total sales is bigger than zero to show blank but if not so if we have missing products to put one okay so this is the measure the data model is very simple it is based on the adventure work basics database so we have sales customer products okay we only use the products and the sales table in this example okay so we have this measure we have put it here in the matrix and uh, we get this uh, solution how we uh, obtain that X because the measure is giving one when we have missing products we use conditional formatting but first of all we use custom format so how we put an X instead of one we must go to relationships we uh, select the measure in the table and here appears a tab with properties we go to format okay we choose custom and in this area we put an X okay so we got an X instead of one and then it's very simple how do we uh, make it red it's a uh, conditional formatting we go here conditional formatting font color and we put the same red overall okay and we have this result we have also another measure for the missing products which is more complex the measure is like this we use two variables all products we get the distinct values from the products key from the products table and then the variable sold products because here we want to get only the values from the sales table namely only the product that have sales and then we want to return count rows again it will be an one resulting it uh, counts the number of rows except all products and then sold products the except function works like this get me all the products that exist here in the first table and not in the second table so in our example means the missing products and we have a count row it will count we will get again one and then we go to formatting and uh, we get this X so this is the solution for 
putting in the pivot table the missing products. I hope you find this video useful. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.